What's up guys and welcome. In today's video we're going to be learning how to turn our base robot left and right. There's a couple ways to do it so let's get started. I'm going to show you a few different ways in which we can turn our robot left and right. The first thing I want to do is open up a new program and rename it to something recognizable so that it's easy to find. I'm just going to name mine left and right. The first way I'm going to show you is with the move steering block. Click and drag that in and we're only going to change one property on this block and that is the arrow. As I've said previously, this sliding bar refers to the aggressiveness of the turn or the size of the arc of the turn. The easiest way for you to get a more or less 90 degree angle turn on your robot is to change this to 50. Give this a quick run and see what happens. We can see my robot has turned roughly 90 degrees. If you watch closely, only the outer wheel turns when it's set to 50. If I change it to two rotations, my robot's gonna turn roughly 180 degrees. And if I change it to three rotations, roughly 270 degrees. What happens now when I change my turn from 50 to 100? This makes the turn tighter. And when I push it all the way through to 100, both wheels will turn on, but one will turn on forwards and the other will turn on backwards. So it ends up spinning in place. Let's see what happens when I change the amount of turn from 100 down to 20. You can see that the curve is a lot more gentler and the arc becomes bigger. The distance that you set on your motor block will be completed by the outermost wheel. The wheel you're seeing now is the outer wheel on the turn and is completing one full rotation. On the other hand, this is the inner wheel and it compensates automatically to complete the turn. You can see it doesn't quite make one full rotation. We've been using the move steering block up until now. Now I'm going to show you how we move with the fourth green block, which is the move tank. I'm going to get rid of my old one and drag in the move tank. Now with this block, we're controlling each motor individually. I know that when I wanted my robot to turn right, I would set the previous motor block to 50. I can replicate that action with this block by turning off one of the motors, by giving it a power of zero, and leaving the other one on for one rotation. If I run this program, it should give me a similar result as before, which we can see is what happens. Head back to the program and play around with these values and see what happens. The more you play, the more you'll figure out. I have a bit of a challenge for you. Find yourselves a square or rectangle or some sort of object. What I want you to do is try and make your way around the object with the robot without going over the lines or bumping into it and end up in more or less the same place that you started. I hope you guys learned something, but if you need, go back and re-watch some of the things. I'll catch you guys on the next one. That's all for now.